So before there was air travel, even before the interstate highway system, or even the transcontinental railroad, the U.S. had the wagon trails that linked the east to the west. And today, we're looking at the remnants of one of those trails uh, called the Santa Fe Trail. So we just got the heck out of Dodge, pun intended, and uh, just to the west of Dodge City is the Santa Fe Trail. As a matter of fact, Fort Dodge was originally formed to provide some protection for settlers and travelers that were coming along the Santa Fe Trail. So if I remember correctly, the Santa Fe Trail was originally established around 1821, 1822. Uh, started off around Franklin, Missouri, and then went all the way through Kansas, of course, going down to Santa Fe. And there were thousands of settlers that traveled along this route. So many that 150, 200 years later, supposedly you can still see the, uh, the ruts from the road. So pretty interesting. So they have a little display here showing some different things about the Santa Fe Trail. Here's a picture showing Fort Dodge. Uh, Fort Dodge was originally created to protect the travelers along the Santa Fe Trail and here you can see some of the ruts as the wagon trains travel past. Here you can see the entire route. So there we are starting off in Franklin, going all the way down here to Fort Dodge where we are, and then the trail splits and you could either go west into Colorado or continue on a more direct route all the way to Santa Fe. Okay, so back there at the information station, it said that every time there's a boardwalk, that's where evidence of the ruts are. So you can kind of see, like right in here and right in here, there's a little bit of a depression. Those are the ruts from the wagon trail. We might try and get an aerial view here in a second and see if we can get a better look. So that was the tracks of the Santa Fe Trail. Pretty interesting. Uh, you know, we just left Dodge City. Dodge City was in its heyday, kind of in the 1870s, 1880s. And all evidence of that town is, is pretty much gone, honestly, uh, as far as like the structures. But here you have the Santa Fe Trail, which is even older. And yet you can still see evidence from all of these wagon trains that came through here. Pretty amazing. And you really kind of have to admire the people that came out and started trekking west. Uh, they were pulling about 18 miles a day in their wagons uh, through pretty desolate country, honestly. Uh, not a lot of water, hot, arid summers, real cold winters, uh, tornadoes, lightning strikes. And of course, they were encroaching on Native American land. So there was the danger of uh, conflicts between those two people groups as well but yet they still did it and the evidence is still here that people can come and see so this was definitely worth the stop and now we are off to the next place hey, little frog what in the heck are you doing way out here 